hello youtube and welcome to another cisco tutorial so in this video i'm gonna show you how to pen test your cisco devices using cisco torch so are you ready let's get started so first thing first what is cisco torch so actually uh, cisco torch is a tool designed as mass scanning fingerprinting and exploitation tool okay so it can be used in order to discover a lot of services for example telnet ssh web ntp and snmp okay so before showing you some examples here you must know that it requires various parallel models because actually it was written using Perl, okay? So whenever you encounter some errors, you will find in the description two commands that you must execute. For example, here I'm using Linux. So you must execute these two commands whenever you want to install a Perl model, okay? So the first command actually for installing any Perl model is curl and you'll find it in the description so this actually command will install a tool called cpanm which is the main tool for installing uh, actually parallel model so for example if you want to install uh, the model net.ssh parallel you execute the command cpam net double colon ssh double colon perl okay so these two commands as i told you you will just use it whenever you need them okay if there is a need for a parallel model used by cisco torch okay so let's install actually cisco torch but uh, i have to make here a disclaimer this tutorial is just for educational and information purposes so do not use it against someone else devices without a written permission okay so in order to install uh, cisco touch it's pretty easy so here i'm using kali linux but you can use any distribution for example based on ubuntu so it's simple as executing this command up install cisco torch okay so me i already installed so nothing to install here okay so let's go with some basic command that you can execute so uh, let's start actually with executing the command cisco torch without any ar arguments so here a little uh, actually uh, help for this command so here you can see the basic usage is cisco torch then options then the ip or host name or network so you can actually execute this command against single ip address or subnet if you want and here you can see the different uh, available options so for example here minus capital O and the output file if you want to save the output file to any file in your uh, computer or uh, Linux box okay you can use also minus capital A for all fingerprint scan type okay and there are also a couple of other options like uh, minus T for Cisco Telnet D scan minus S for Cisco SSH D scan okay and also for SNMP scan and you can see a lot of options so let's begin with some uh, simple scan here so let's execute for example this minus capital A options which actually will uh, try to fingerprint all scan types okay so let's use it cisco torch minus capital a 
and here I will give for example uh, the Cisco router I'm using on my home network which has as an internal IP address 192.168.1.2 so let's execute this uh, fingerprint scan and see the result and let's see if we get some something meaningful okay so actually this tool is pretty quick because it's a multi-threaded uh, process okay so here you can see uh, let me scroll up so you can see here what it has found it has found actually an SSH banner or actually SSH server running on my Cisco router so you can see here the version okay and one interesting thing here it also detect that my Cisco router run SNMP which is actually security breach that we can actually solve on other videos and also it has detected the Cisco iOS version which is here 15.7 as you can see and also the model of my Cisco router which is Cisco 880 okay so a couple of uh, very useful information that it has detected it has also detected Cisco iOS web server found as you can see here okay and also the level of WW authentication okay so you can see here it has found manifold uh, information that is gathered just executing this simple scan okay so let's try something else so actually Cisco Torch can also execute brute force attack against our router so whenever we say brute force attack we need actually a password file so if I go for example here on my Linux box if I go to a directory user share Cisco Torch here we go so inside this directory when you install Cisco Torch you will find actually here a password.txt file so if I open that file you can see it contains a list of uh, actually default password for the Cisco devices so if you have another password file a huge one because this one contains as you can see here just uh, 90 uh, passwords you can replace that file with the one that you have just make sure to uh, make the same naming convention here password.txt so let's use this file here in order to brute force attack my Cisco router so let me scroll up to see the options so here you can see a pretty nice option here minus B so this minus B password dictionary attack so this minus B options can be used with minus S for the SSH scan or minus U for the SNMP scan minus C for the Cisco web server with SSL support scan okay or minus J or T as you want so let's execute it for example against uh, our web server because here we have detected that my uh, Cisco router actually has as you can see here web server running okay so let's execute it Cisco torch so minus W then minus B for the brute or dictionary attack and finally the IP address of my Cisco router here so now it's checking my Cisco router and actually it's running now all the password found in the password.txt file in the directory I he here I forget to tell you that you must be on the same directory 
where the file exists so here at the top of my window you can see that I am on this directory here by default which is slash user slash share slash cisco torch where the password file exists okay so here it's running a couple of uh, checks or tries in order to find the password and let's see if it can found the password for here web server running on my Cisco router so it will take a couple of time so here as you can see it has finished and indeed it has found the username and the password which is Cisco and Cisco password which is true because I'm running ju just for educational purposes so my uh, Cisco router has the default username Cisco and the password Cisco okay but as I told you you can actually replace the default password that txt file but someone that has a huge number of passwords if you want to test it against something else okay so that was just a brief introduction to this uh, Cisco Torch uh, tool that can be used for penetrating testing your Cisco devices. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.